we are here today to talk about your first online clients and not just how to find your first online clients, actually how to use PT Distinction to deliver a world-class service to your new paying online clients. And the reason I want to cover this is because I think these are the two things a lot of people, when they first start out online, struggle with. I think they always think, how am I going to find my first online clients? Whether that's the first one, whether it's the first five, whatever it is. And once you've found those clients, what do you actually give to them? How do you deliver a service to them that's at the same standard that you deliver when you're doing in-person training? And that's what I want to try and help you do today. And we're going to go for that process step by step. So let's just dig into this training straight away, shall we? First thing, an important notice. Uh, this is actually about a quick cash injection into your business. So we are going to try and find your clients. We're going to find your first online clients. The process I'm about to share with you is very, very simple. Um, and it will bring in, in reality, some quick cash into your business, which if you're starting out any kind of new business, it's probably one of the most important things. You need to get cash into your business. It is your lifeblood of your business. Without cash, you don't have a business. We need to get this cash moving in. And this is going to give you a quick cash injection to help you get started. It's a very, very simple process, but it does require work and it does require consistency for you to do this. So you're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to be consistent over the next, say, week, and it will start bringing in your first handful of clients, uh, probably even quicker than that. Most people that follow these processes that I'm about to go through now literally get clients signed up within the first day it is possible to do it just depends on lots of different things it depends on your circumstances what you've done in the past and things like that but generally speaking as long as you put the work in and you do what i talk about here consistently then you will start to bring some cash into your business you will start to actually get some of your first online clients into it one thing i will say as you can see down at the bottom it's not sustainable in the long term but it's a great way to start. And I want you to remember this. What I'm about to share with you today is not sustainable. It's not something that you can do over and over and over and over again for five years, 10 years, whatever it is. I mean, theoretically, you could do it, but I think you're either going to run out of leads um, or, and more likely, is you're going to burn out. So this is the process that I want to share with you. Funnily enough, this process is actually what a lot of mentorship programs tend to recommend doing. It works over a few years, possibly, depending on your background. But in reality, you can't do this. It's not sustainable for long term. It really isn't. So just because you're going to do this now doesn't mean you're going to do this over and over and over and over again into the future. Know this is going to take some work, but know that this isn't the be-all and end-all. There's lots of systems and processes in place that you'll need to do this consistently and have a long-term successful business. But do know that this process here will bring you your first online clients. Now, the next thing I want to mention here, what's very, very important, is this is about taking action. I don't want you to just watch this. I want you to do it, and I want you to do it now. So many times when I do trainings, with live trainings like this or recordings or whatever it is, a lot of people watch it. They go, yes, I get, I get this, Ash. I'm going to go and do this. I'm going to use this training. I'm going to use these resources. I'm going to download whatever you've, you've got to help me. And it just sits there on their computer. They don't do anything with it. And because they didn't do anything with it, nothing ever happens. And you know this as coaches. How much information is out there for living a healthy lifestyle, for eating a better diet, for feeling more energetic, for losing weight, for putting on the size? Like the information is out there already. The reason people don't get results is because they're not taking action on that information. That's what I want you to do here. Don't be like some of your clients or potential clients are at the moment, just sitting back on the information and doing nothing about it. Do something about it and do it now. What we're about to do here is very, very simple. It's a simple process and you can do it. There's nothing complicated about this at all. Just follow the steps I'm about to share with you. I don't want you to overthink it. I'm going to say that again. Don't overthink this. Just follow the actions and it will work. I promise you that. And don't wait. Do the task I set today and it will bring your first paying clients by the end of the week. That's a promise I'm going to make to you now. Just do these things today. You will start to bring in your first online client by the end of the week, as long as you follow this and you follow exactly what I'm trying to do here, you will bring your clients. I, I promise you, if you're new to this, this will work. So there's the warning. There's the important information. Let's get straight into it. And I'm going to show you how much this is not rocket science I'm about to do here. So the first thing I'm going to do is if you're on Facebook watching this, I'm going to assume you use social media because you're here watching this training video. And the chance of you use social media, it means that the clients and people you interact with also probably use social media. And we're going to leverage those to start off with. So the first thing I want to do is let all your social media accounts, no matter what you use, whether you use Facebook, which I'm guessing you do because you're watching this, uh, whether you use Instagram, 
LinkedIn, TikTok, X or Twitter, um, whatever it is you're using, Reddit, anything, whatever it is you're using, write down all the social media accounts now on a piece of paper or something like that. I want you to get your email list get your email list ready and have it all set up so it's ready to go. So if you've got an email list, you're going to use this email list as well. And if you've got a phone book, as in like you've got your phone that has a list of all your past clients on, future clients on, everything like that, on your phone, you're going to have this as well. So you're going to need your social accounts, all of them, an email list if you've got it. Don't worry about it if you don't. And uh, obviously your phone book for the past clients, former clients, leads, everything like that, current clients as well. And you're going to tell them all about your new venture. And you're just going to do this really, really simply. Just put a post up saying, I'm about to start this new online program that helps X do Z. That's all you're literally going to do. Put the post up about it. You're going to send it out to email list. I'm about to start doing this program that helps X do Z. Again, phone list. Send text messages out, SMS to people. I'm about to start this program. And we're going to do, we're going to help X do Z. Literally just tell people about it. One of the biggest reasons people don't buy your stuff is because you haven't told them about it. So just tell them about it. That's that simple. And then on your socials, I want you just to include, if you're using social media for this anyway, include a photo of you in your post and just announce you're about to launch this beta program in the next few days. So keep this really simple. Hey, I'm about to start this um, new beta program. It's for helping X people do Z, which might be I'm helping, looking at helping new mums lose, drop two dress sizes in 12 weeks, whatever it is. Whatever your offer is, that's what you're going to put out there. And don't be shy. The more you share, the more you'll make with this process. So don't be shy about this at all. You're going to post it out on your socials, everything. That's what you're going to do for now. Just go ahead and do that. Don't think about it. Just put it out there. You might not get interactions with it. You might not get likes because you don't post very regularly. Don't worry about it. Just put it out there. Don't think about it. Don't worry about the results from it at the moment. Just put it out there. That's all you need to do. Next thing you're going to do and this is boring. I'll be honest with you, it is completely and utterly boring process to go and do, but it really makes all the difference. You're going to make a list of every past client, every current client, every lead, and every prospect that you've ever had. And that is for your in-person business as well as your online stuff. So maybe you haven't done any online sales yet. Again, that's cool. It's This is your first online client. But you are probably going to have experience working in a gym, being as a personal trainer, maybe even in a studio or something along those lines. And if that's the case, you're going to have clients, current clients. You're going to have past clients. You're going to have old leads, people that have reached out for your in-person business before. You're going to have prospects, people that you've maybe been speaking to or engaged with through different methods, whether that's online or offline, who have shown an interest in your services, whether they're face-to-face or even online. You're going to make a list of them. So we're looking at a list of your current clients. Again, drop us on a piece of paper. Current clients who are currently working with in person or online. They're going to be your past clients, so clients who you used to work with uh, in person or online. Or your leads. This is anyone that has inquired about any of your services uh, or have joined your email list. And all your prospects. This is anyone that has followed you, joined maybe a community, such as if you use a Facebook group, for example. Anyone like that are all prospects that maybe engaged with you. And then we're going to be looking at referrals and new leads. So these will be... We'll add referrals in when they're offered to you. And I'll talk a little bit about referrals a little bit later on. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to utilize referrals in here. Uh, But there's definitely a process where you can utilize all your existing leads here and use referrals to create new leads as well. Uh, But we're going to focus mainly on these top ones here. So current clients, past clients, all leads, all prospects. Make a list of those. So just write those down on the top of a piece of paper. Once you finish watching this training, go away, write all them down. We're going to go on to the next step. So once you've done that, this is probably a bit that nobody ever does. And honestly, if you do this, it will work, I promise you. It's really, really simple. I know this sounds really, really simple when I'm talking about it, but this really, really does work. So contact every person on those leads lists. That is it. That's all you need to do, contact them. And what I mean by contact them is you don't have to go straight in and say, hey, come buy my stuff. It all depends really on who the who these people are so how you contact current clients and how you speak to them will be different to past clients will be different to leads will be different to prospects it's going to be different now i'm not going to go into too much detail about how you approach each one of those purely because of time you know we don't have a huge amount of time to go through this but just know this you're going to contact every single person on those lists and you're just going to do it in a way of starting a conversation think about how you would start a conversation in the gym with somebody You'll be there to try and help them, offer them some some kind of support. And then if you believe you can help them, you'll then make them an offer. 
And that's effectively all you're trying to do here is to start a conversation with them. And just remember this, all successful businesses are generally built on three things. It's about relationships, the system they use, and the numbers that they keep track of. So relationships, systems, numbers. They're the three key things that successful businesses tend to have in play. And this bit here is the relationship part of it. And it's also about the numbers part of it. And it's also about the systems part of it. You have to start building relationships with people. And you're going to use this system, which is to follow up with your own leads to start building those relationships with people. And then when you're doing that, you're just going to track the numbers to see who was actually interested and who's not interested. And I think that's the important thing to do here is whenever you're contacting these people on that bit of paper where you've written all them down, just right next to it, I've contacted them once, contacted them twice. Yes, they've got back to me. Yes, they're interested. No, they're not. So make sure you record this information as you go through it. And again, in terms of how long this takes, it takes as long as it takes. You may have five leads. It won't take you that long. You may have 50 leads. It may take you a bit longer. You may have a 1,000 leads. Again, that might take you a long time. It doesn't matter. Just go and do it. The bigger your lead list, the more likely you are to get high numbers of first clients when they come on board. But just take as long as it takes. Put some time aside. Block it into your diary and just get the work done. Then, once you've started doing that, again, this might take more than one day as well. If you've got a big list, it might be some today, some tomorrow, some the day after. Every single day for the next week, just start going to go and do it. Just quickly on that, though, if you're going to use social media to do this, remember we talked about email lists, we talked about phone numbers, we've also talked about using social media, don't go and send like 100, 500 messages out of your personal account to all these people. Facebook won't like it. They're just going to give you a soft block. They're going to stop you from sending messages for 24 hours or whatever. Um, so don't do that. Just follow up with, say, like maybe 10, 20 people today, 10, 20 people tomorrow, and so on if it's for your socials, and then use emails, SMS, whatever else you can do uh, for the rest of the time. So just take your time doing it as you go through it, but it does take as long as it takes, depending on your numbers. Next thing you want to do here is you're going to make a social post or send an email out to your email list if you have one. And again, now what you're going to say is you're going to follow up from that first post that we talked about a minute ago. So if we go back over here, and we said here, just let everyone know about what's going on. You're announcing this beta program. You're now going to start asking for people for it. So you didn't ask for it over here, but you are going to ask for it now. So this is what you're going to do tomorrow. You're going to wake up, and you're going to send a message out saying, I'm looking for I don't know, five people, 10 people, one person, two people, whatever you want it to be, whatever number you think you can handle to start off with. I'm looking for five people to whatever it is you offer so if it's working with mums like the example earlier i'm looking for five uh, new mums who are looking to drop two dress sizes in the next uh, 12 weeks 16 weeks whatever it is um if you're interested comment below or if you're interested reply back to this email literally just send that out and see what happens that's what you're going to do 15 minutes send it out then forget about it for now and then what you're going to do is you're going to follow up with all post or email interactions Really is that simple follow up. So when somebody responds to that post, whether they like that post, whether they comment on that post, whether they send you a DM from that post, whether they reply back to your email, whether you ask some information, whatever it is, you're going to go and follow up with them. And the whole idea of that follow up is to get that conversation going again. And if you don't follow up, that's probably where you miss out. I know loads and loads of trainers who I've met and spoke to. There was, there was one literally the other day, a business partner, Jed, he was speaking to a client of ours and he was saying that uh oh i'm you know i'm thinking about trying to get more leads into the business we we helped him with some of his setup and the done for you system and now he wants some help with some lead generation and uh jed doing what jed normally does he has a look through his um accounts and sees what he's up to and he noticed that he had some posts the other day had loads of interaction about 18 interactions on it with comments and things like that and we asked him like how how many of those people you followed up with well none i've not messed any of them i just thought they click on my link and come and go through and buy my program. And that's not going to happen. You need to start following up with people. When leads come in, when people inquire about something, follow up with them. If they ask for more information, send them the information and then follow up, follow up and follow up. It's the follow up that matters. And I think on average, it's something like eight touch points you'll need before someone makes a buying decision. So think about that. That's eight points of contact you're going to need with somebody before they're ready to hand over any money to you so you can actually give them your online service. So you must follow up with people when they do that. Cool. And then from that point, you're going to start the sales uh, conversation and convert these leads into paying clients. So once you've actually sent those messages out, once you've got those conversations going with people, once you start following up to keep those conversations going, you're going to get to a point where you go, I can help this person. And they're probably going to position where actually, I know you're offering something because you've told them, you've already made them aware that you're offering something. You found out that they actually need help. They're going to want your help at that point. 
So what you're going to do is go and make an offer to them. So that's what you're basically doing here. You're going to start that sales conversation and you're going to convert them into paying leads. Now, again, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that on here because, again, we only have, like I say, around 20 minutes in total to, to go through all of this. But that's in essence what you need to do. But if you struggle with this, stick around. Because if you need help with what to say, as in the scripts and messages to send to people to actually get them into these conversations, if you need to know how to follow up without sounding desperate, if you need to know, if you want to learn how to actually have a sales conversation without being salesy, and also if you want to know what to do and to say to bring in more leads in sales, stick around to the end of this training. I've got some resources and things that might be helpful for you. So make sure you stick around for that. But all I'm doing here is just going through this process that I want you to go and do, because again, it does work. So now that we have some yeses, because not all those people are going to say yes, uh, probably only a handful will. You can message 100 people and you might only get three or four that say yes. It's just the way it is, especially in the early days if these leads and prospects haven't been followed up or you haven't had much of a conversation with them in the past. The numbers are going to be quite low, but it doesn't matter. Our aim here is just to get those first clients through because once you get those first clients through, it allows you to test your system, test your offer out, ask for referrals, all sorts of different things, get testimonials. It really gets that momentum going. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to kickstart that momentum. We're trying to push that first domino over to get that domino effect going for your online fitness business. So now we have some yeses. We need a system in place for taking payments, onboarding the client, and delivering your program. So first of all, let's look at taking payment. Don't overcomplicate it. Really just don't overcomplicate it. Like all of this process here, it really is actually quite simple. You're taking existing leads, you're following up with them, you're making them an offer if they need some of your help. Simple. That's what we're going to do here with the payments. We're going to keep it really, really simple. So use whatever you use for your in-person training now. If you're doing in-person training, you take payment from them, just use that. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't worry about trying to integrate it into your website or anything like that. Don't even worry about integrating payment stuff into PT Distinction. Just Keep it simple and do what you're doing now. Remember, it's not a sale until the money is in your bank. So the more you complicate it, the longer that process is going to take. Keep it simple. Get the money off them. Get that sale done. Get them into your program on border, which we'll talk about next. So you can use things like PayPal, Stripe, uh, Go Cardless, or even a simple bank transfer in order to get the money off them to start off with. Now, once you've got the money off them, what we're going to do is onboard the client. And again, this can be automated. You can automate this entire process. In fact, I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Uh, but again, don't overcomplicate it. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go into PT Distinction and I'm going to show you how to onboard a client in less than 60 seconds. I don't want you to overcomplicate this. I don't want you to overthink this. This is all you're just going to do because you could spend all this time trying to figure out what to put into this onboarding process. And then the client might not need it. They might not need all that information at this point. You don't know what they need yet. It's just your best guess. So let them come into the program. Use this system I'm about to show you now because it is based on data. It's based on data from us over at PTD Ninja and literally the thousands of trainers we've worked with uh, through the masterclass of the done for you services, through, um, through our online personal training certification. We've collected all the data and this is a process we know works time and time and time again. So stick with it, run with it, get feedback, adapt it, adjust it at a later date. So here we are, we're inside PT Distinction, and we're going to go and simply onboard a client. So once somebody has paid you, so get the money off them first, you're simply just going to go and add in a client. So we can go into the client section up at the top. We're going to click Add Client. You're going to put in their details. So Ash, test. Email is going to be Ash, test. Whatever numbers I want to put in here. There we go. And then down here, we're going to have country residence details in. Date of birth, if you want to put it in, phone if you want to put it in. You can select the gender. This is the biological gender for anyone that doesn't know. Um, the client never sees this. It's purely just for body fat percentage calculator that's built into the software. Uh, so I'm going to click mail. Leave notes for now. It's going to be an active client. I'm probably going to have two-way message on at this stage because I want to speak to my clients backwards and forwards. Use my time zone because these ones are based in the UK. And I'm going to go and add in some groups to this one. So it's adding the group. I'm going to make sure this is toggled on. And then down here, I'm going to go and select the group. And I've got lots of different groups here, but what you're looking for is the onboarding group, the Peter Ninja onboarding group. It's already pre-built into your PT distinction. So that's what you're looking for here, PeterNinja.com dash onboarding. Click on that. Choose the now option. Make sure this box is checked. Click save. That's it. That's all you need to do. I had to put the right email address in first. Might help. I had to put the right email address in would help with this one. There we go. Much better. 
And then what it's going to do is ask you to send the login details. Just hit no. There's no need to send login details because they've already been written up as part of that group. That's it. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about the rest of it. They'll get the links. They'll download the app. They'll log in. They'll fill in the forms. They'll onboard. Everything will happen inside Peter's Distinction as it should do. There's nothing you need to worry about. So just literally go and do that. Now then, once that's done, let's head back over here. You've onboarded your clients and you've got them in. They're going to go through an onboarding process. They're going to go and fill in some forms. They're going to go and um, fill in their results tracking and everything else that's already set up in that onboarding group. Now what we're going to do is deliver a program to them. So like before, don't overcomplicate it. Let your beta clients guide your program design. What I mean by that is, again, we don't really know what we're giving them yet. We're only looking at a handful of clients. So instead of worrying about trying to build out loads of exercise videos, loads of templates and workout programs, let's use this handful of clients, this one, two, three clients that we may have picked up from this process, and use that to build out some programs for them inside PT Distinction. And when you do that, they're guiding that process. And effectively, what you're doing is getting paid to create templates, to create resources. So you might as well get paid for going to do it because every resource you make, every temp, every workout you build, every program you put together, you can turn those into templates, you can turn those into groups of MPT distinction, and you can reuse them again for future clients. So you might as well get paid to do the stuff you're going to do anyway. And the beauty about this is you know you're making the right stuff because these are your clients. These are people you are actually working with. You know what they're going to need by getting feedback from them. Now, what I want to do is I want to log into Peter Distinction now. I'm going to show you how to coach a client using a semi-automated program. So the reason I want to show you the semi-automated program is I want to demonstrate how when you first do this and you're building stuff out for your clients, you'll probably find that it might take a little bit of time to build the workouts out to do all those different things. But when you build up and you turn things into groups and templates, you can really speed up the process. So in here, if I go into this, this example client we've just actually set up and I go into the group section, you can see the onboarding group has been added in. And within this group, if I go onto the schedule, you can see the welcome documents here, explaining what they need to go and do. And then all their forms are actually all in here, ready for them. So let's assume this client's gone through and completed all that information. And I've got all that information and it's appeared on the schedule for them in here. Now what I can do is build out a workout program for them. So I know this client wants to do some habit-based coaching. So I'm going to give them some basic habits to work on. I know they struggle with getting protein into the diet. So let's just start with that. And I also know that they work out at home when they've got the availability for, say, three days a week. So when you actually have your system set up in P-Distinction, you can do this very, very quickly. So let me show you how to go and do that now. So I'm going to go into my groups, click the Add Group button. And inside here, I'm going to do a, a protein. So I'm going to type in protein. There it is, my habit. Click on that, click next. Have it start straight away, hit now, and then that's it. My protein habit's been put in, all the tracking, the resources, everything is in their account. And then workout wise, I know they're going to do a three day a week program. So let's go and look at uh, actually a home workout we said, didn't we? So three day split at home, 12 week program. I'm going to add that in today. Start it now, hit confirm. That's going to go and copy that in for me. And now that's pretty much it. If I close this off now and give this a little refresh, just watch what happens in the account uh, on their schedule. You can see everything scheduled out, the protein, the check-ins, the workouts already pre-done for them. In the items, all the workouts and schedules are all set up for them. Coaching items are in there. The workout programs are already in there, drip feeding out to them all automatically. And at that point, I can go in there and tweak and edit things even more. And I want to demonstrate that to you because Yes, this first part of the process is going to take a little bit longer when you're coaching your clients, but you're building it around them. All these things you see on here are things that are created after working with clients. Work with them and I turn them into programs. In fact, that's exactly what we do over at PT Ninja. We take the data from all the people we work with and we use that to guide our content design. So for example, that protein program there is based on data from our clients. The work I should see there is based on data from our clients. In fact, everything we do is based on data from the people that we work with. And that's how we create content for our members over at PT Ninja. So let me just head back over here. So I just want to demonstrate just how quick that can actually be. Now, before we go, I want to quickly talk about something here. That, that's pretty much all you need to know about getting your first clients, the basic side of it, and delivering services to them. So just to recap, you're basically going to make a list of every lead prospect, client, past client you've ever had, and you're going to Get in contact with them. Tell them you're about to start a new program. Tomorrow, you're going to wake up and send them a message saying we're about to start a beta program. And with that beta program, you're looking for five people to come and join it. You're then going to follow up with anybody you send these messages to. Once you've made a few sales, you're going to keep it simple. Take the payment using the current systems you use. You're going to onboard them into P Distinction using the onboarding group that's already made. And then once you've done that, you're going to build out the program for them 
inside Pete's distinction, turn those into templates, and they can be used again for later down the line. Now, before I go, I want to talk quickly about this. If you need help with finding the next five to 10 paying online personal training clients, and you want some help with this by day by day training over a 30 day process, uh, scripts for every type of lead and conversation, uh, scripts for following up with leads and referrals, uh, a proven sales script for ensuring you convert leads into clients, uh, templates for your posts and emails, and also the tracking sheets so you know how to follow up with them and when to follow up with them, then let me know in the comments. Just literally type in there training and I can send you over uh, our mini course called the Online Cash Injector that will literally help you go and do this. Um, so all you need to do is just comment training below and I'll send over those details to you if you want to go and check that out. Uh, Adrena asked a question, if this is a beta program, how much would you charge for a 12-week weight loss plan for a midlife woman? It really depends on pricing. It really, really does. Uh, what I would do is I will send you a link to a calculator we have, which is a pricing calculator. And what that does is it'll help you put your details in. It'll help you work out a price for that program. Uh, if that's okay, I'll send it over to you. I'll drop it into the comments so you've got it. Um, and there you go from there. And that's pretty much it for me. Uh, thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.